This is a case of classical Hodgkin lymphoma, and this is a low power view of the lymph node that's involved. And there are a couple of interesting things about Hodgkin lymphoma compared to the other lymphomas that we talk about. One of them is that it tends to spread in a systematic fashion from node to node. So it starts in one node and then moves along the lymph node chain, kind of quote unquote infecting other lymph nodes. And that might have something to do with EBV, which is really commonly found in the reed Sternberg cells in this type of Hodgkin lymphoma. Uh, but you'll notice that at low power, this lymph node is completely effaced. And when we say effaced, what we mean is that there is no follicular structures or germinal centers in it. In fact, really what you see is just a sheet of cells. And if we go down to higher power and we take a look at these cells, what you'll notice, and we'll try to find some Reed Sternberg cells in here, uh, but this is an example of the classical type, the mixed cellularity Hodgkin lymphoma. And you'll notice that we have several eosinophils. So here are eosinophils, those bright pink cells. Uh, lots of lymphocytes, which are these little blue cells. And then occasional large cells with big prominent nuclei, and that's a Reed Sternberg cell. Now normally Reed Sternberg cells uh, have either two nuclei or more than one nucleoli, or, and they commonly look like what we say is owl's eyes, uh, but often this is not the case. And this is another example of a, a big Reed Sternberg cell sitting in a lacuna. And these Reed Sternberg cells are actually the neoplastic cells. Um, you cannot do flow cytometry on these cases because there's too few of these cells uh, to actually get useful information. So the flow cytometer counts all of the cells around it, but not the Reed Sternberg cells uh, themselves. There's not enough of them to actually see when you look at your scatter plot. So we have to use immunohistochemistry, chemistry, and we found that these tumors are usually uh, positive in these Reed Sternberg cells for CD15 and CD30, which is a very helpful marker for us to use.